When the Drake Bulldogs take the field tonight against Long Beach State on the West Coast, they'll be looking for an unprecedented victory number nine. For a lot of reasons, they're in that position. Certainly one of them has to be number 11, Drake senior quarterback Rick Casco. Casco quite a season this fall. He's been averaging 232 yards total offense a game and needs only 81 against the 49ers to surpass Drake legend Johnny Bright's 2,400 yards of 30 years ago. Also, will take Casco only 120 yards in the air to own the one season passing mark set by Dennis Redman for 2,182 yards in 1971. Casco doesn't have to pass all the time as he has a strong alternative threat in the running of sophomore Amaro Ware. He'll be looking for his fourth straight 100-yard plus rushing effort tonight in California, where the Valley's leading rusher averaging 85.9 yards per game and almost five yards per carry. Senior Talmadge Tanks fills out the Bulldog backfield very nicely, and off the bench there's always sophomore Kevin Nichols, who had a heck of a game against Wichita State here in Des Moines a few weeks ago. Replace Casco next fall, Drake coach Chuck Shelton has a signal caller with considerable experience in third-year sophomore Gary Yagelski. Played more last year than this season, but he can throw it for points with authority and has. Throwing against the Drake defense is not the safest thing to do as they lead the nation with 27 interceptions for 1980. Team record for a season is 28 10 years ago. Free safety Greg Benton alone has eight. I'm sure Drake officials are most excited that six of their eight 1980 victories have been against Division I schools. Long Beach State, tonight's opponent, is riding a six-game winning streak. 9.30 p.m. start time as Drake goes for a never-before-achieved ninth win. Remember to use these numbers for comparison. The actual mileage the Bulldogs get tonight will depend on how they drive. John Lifefight, TV8 Sports. The Unidome on the University of Northern Iowa campus inside a crowd of 12,000 but nowhere near capacity. They saw a terrific game, Drake coming from behind to win 39 to 30. Led by quarterback Steve Sandin, UNI was moving well with a short pass right from the start. Here a 15-yarder to Matt McAllister, but they didn't score until their second possession here, the 44-yard field goal by Steve Schorner. Still first quarter, it's third and 10 on the Drake 17. Sandin hits Ken Harvey coming across the end zone. With a kick, it's 10 to nothing Panthers. Second quarter now, second to 10 on the Drake 28, and Sandin throws a beautiful pass to Harvey again, and it's UNI 17 to nothing. Then Drake finally got on the board with a 44-yard Henrik Mickemeyer field goal. Drake trailing 17 to three, the tide turning now. Sandin still throwing, but Drake's Lance Shields has the interception off the tip. And seven plays later, Drake quarterback Gary Yagelski looking very healthy. It's Mike Williams in the corner for the dogs' first touchdown. Mickemeyer kick good, and it's UNI 17, Drake 10. On the second play after the subsequent kickoff, Sandin is trapped in the end zone. Watch this by Mark Pinozo and the refs rule intentional ground. It's a safety, Drake. Home 17 at guess 12 at halftime. Third quarter here in Yagelski with a pass to Mike Williams. Williams down the sideline, 41 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. But watch this. The Panthers, Craig Nordley takes the kickoff in the end zone. and races 100 yards. And the Panthers are back on top, 24 to 19. Moving to the final period, first play, the handoff is to Amaro Ware, 130 yards for Amaro today. Ware in for the score, dogs lead 25-24 as a two-point conversion failed by inches. But with seven minutes left, Yagelski hits Bob Graff. There's a scuffle, Drake leads 32 to 24. And two plays later after the kickoff, Drake's Jeff Cobble intercepts a sand and pass and returns it all the way in. Drake 39, UNI 24. UNI managed another score of four yards. Sandin and Davey Lewis before time ran out. Heck of a game for the fans of both teams. Sandin 26 of 46 for 331 yards. Yagelski 21 of 34 for 252. 930 yard total offense in the game. Both these men have reason to be optimistic. John Lifefight, TV8 Sports. Score tied with 11 seconds left in the game as Drake's Henrik Mickemeyer booted a 33-yard field goal for a Drake victory. Drake 17, Indiana State 14 this afternoon at Drake Stadium. Dogs avenging losses over the last four years. And it was only last year at Drake Stadium that Sycamore quarterback Reggie Allen hit with about a 75-yard scoring pass in the first period. Today he had a new weapon, a number 40 tailback Eric Robinson. Second play of the game here in Robinson for 24 yards. Continuing that drive, Robinson took it in for Indiana State's first touchdown. Kick good. Drake down 7-0. Seven minutes later, Indiana State with the ball again. 
again. But Allen fumbles it, and Drake's Will Shoop recovers. More heroics from Shoop yet to come. Dogs hoping to capitalize on the mistake. Yagelski threads one into Bob Graff. More about him later also. Five and a half left in the first period. Namara Ware takes it in. Ware, 134 yards on 20 carries this afternoon. His sixth game over 100, 7-7 seven seven here. First play in the second quarter, and Sycamore's Tom Chapman is wide of the goal posts. Here, 10 and a half to go. Second quarter, ball in the 28th, second and 13. Yagelski looks like he's going to run as he steps up, but really he's calmly looking for Bob Graff. And after the kick, the Dogs lead 14 to 7. Let's take another look at that one. They make it look easy, don't they? The lead was short-lived, however, as Robinson ran one 71 yards for a touchdown, and it was 14 all at halftime. One bright moment for Drake fans in the third period. Sycamore's threatening, and Drake's will shoot intercepts. Ref says he was out of bounds on the 30. With five and a half minutes to go, the dogs had the ball and were making first downs, eating up the clock, and a worried coach, Chuck Shelton, was eating the field. Came down to 11 seconds, third and goal on the four. Henrik Mickemeyer's kick is up and over, and the dogs are 2-0. and oh. Western Illinois will be at Drake Stadium next Saturday. John Lifite, TV8 Sports.